and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Hi folks, I'm Bob Shaw, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. Because we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Today we're going to show you how to relieve, stop painful, itching, debilitating foot pain. And we're going to do it in three steps. That's right, Bob. You got to keep good care of your feet, particularly as you get older. But at any age, if your feet are not healthy, it affects your whole life throughout the whole day. Yeah, our basketball coach spent a lot of time on this in the initial uh, meetings that we had. Really? About, yeah, because if you got bad feet, you can't play. Yeah, and it's know? not a good locker room adventure right. either. <laughs> Let's carry on. All right. By the way, if you're new to our channel, please take a second <laughs> to subscribe to us. We provide videos how to stay healthy. Fit, fit, pain, and pain free. <laughs> By the way, we also give something away all the time. Uh, go to bobandbrad.com. Right. And we're giving away a Peach Choice. We got a whole stack of them. Balance here. pad. I'm and, balancing on one right now. Yeah, but you can actually use these for a, a plethora of, of things. Brad likes to sit on it because his butt gets sore. It doesn't yeah. get sore. It's warm, Bob. All and, right. You know, and that's cold in the morning. All right. You can also go Outside. to Facebook. It'll be pinned to the top of the page. Go to Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok if you want a 60-second version of our That's program. That's right. I'm going to knock over that six-inch roll. Boom. Got it. Okay. Uh, so feet. We want to talk about feet because it is a major thing in your life if you want to stay healthy and fit and active. Right. You, you can't ever... run. You can't walk. You can't do anything. Right. Your feet give up. The most, most of your exercise activities involve weight burying through your feet uh so common things athlete foot you know fungus you got bacteria your feet are stuck in these shoes they heat up they sweat yes. it's a perfect environment for all those nasty little things to grow uh calluses by the way calluses are often caused as a result of excess perspiration oh they are I yeah didn't know that. right well you have the the rubbing but oh, sure wrong, along with it it all works together uh, -huh. uh bunions People oftentimes buy their shoes with the toe box too, too narrow. narrow. Yes. Or if you're wearing what are the high heels or pumps or yes. whatever those are, and you're you know up on your toes and your feet slide down into it, continually putting that pressure, narrowing that toe box. And that's no, off of the cause of bunions. Right, right. Exactly. So that's one of the easy ones. Um, ounce of prevention can go a long ways to prevent. Everything we just talked about. Right. So that's what we're going to talk about. Step number one, the basics, Bob. Keep your feet clean. Yes. And, and it's just not, you know, it is one of those things that's hard. If you're standing in a shower and you're trying to scrub your feet right. between your toes, you're tipping over, especially when you get a little bit older. Yeah. It's nice to have. A, a, you could have a bench in the A shower. bench, yeah. Right. Actually, we bought a shower that has a built-in sure. yeah. uh, stool to sit on. It's very handy. Uh, works great. Uh, make sure when you dry your feet, dry your feet well. Even between the toes, that's where yes. a lot of things can start growing there. Very fast. Yeah. And you can actually take your hair dryer, and if you really want to be uh, complete, thorough. thorough and complete, dry things out there, and it's going to help keep that, those nasty things from growing there. It's, it's just, as a matter of fact, part of the reason I'm doing this, because recently I had athlete's foot. Oh, you did? Yeah. It, it, it drives you crazy at night because it itches and it's not a good thing, you know. And was it the bottom of the foot or where? Well, it was toes? in my toes. It was. Right. But it was because I was wearing Crocs. You know what Crocs are? Yes, I do. Uh, they're these really great shoes to go out really quickly and come in if it's wet outside, that kind of a thing. But I found out they're all rubber and you have to clean them. Oh, sure. And so I think what's happening is I, get, I did not keep up with my... Sweating them probably pretty easy, too. Yeah, rubber. yeah. So Crocs are probably not the best thing to wear long-term. Short, short things. Uh, so the other thing is uh, foot powder. Foot powder can be a nice thing. I use the arm and, ha arm and hammer. But did you just start? Or were you... It, no, I only use it... I don't use it as a maintenance. I, I only use it when I have problems. Sure, gotcha. right? If you do these other things, you don't need to use is it. Is that a medicated foot powder? Well, you know, I've I, they do have some of those too. Right, right? they do. And right. it's gonna be an individual thing. Right. I'm not trying right. to promote Arm right. Hammer, just yeah, you know, right. this been around forever. Yeah. My mom used to use it, dad used it, so what the hell? Oops. Right. <laughs> that. It's a family show. Yeah, I know I got, I got carried away. What Step number two uh is not only keep your feet clean, but this is big, is keep clean socks. Every day, I don't care who you are, you need to put a clean pair of socks on. 
And if you happen to have sweaty feet, this is called uh, hyperhidrosis. Yes. There's a term for it. Uh, you sweat profusely more than average, and it's oftentimes at the bottom of your feet or on your hands. As you know, I looked it up at Mayo. We're, you're, sure. Bob, Bob is an alumni there, so we, we would appreciate the, what, the information they have. And so it is a thing that you know if you have hyperhidrosis, your feet sweat a lot. Now, actually, I, do you know what someone has it? Who? Huh? Our office manager. Oh, really? Well, we, uh, so we, between the both of us, we know two people that have it. Right. But the one person I talked to yesterday, what he did is he changes his socks three times per day. And he said it made, it makes a big difference. And there's one other thing that both you and Tanner are not aware of is this is what he does. He uses one of these. Really? What? This is a shoe backslash foot dryer. Now, I have this because I use it with my hunting boots when I go out and get them wet. Sure. What you do, I don't have my boots here, but that's why I have a long neck, is you, you put your shoes in here like this, okay? Now, this you plug in. It has a little heater in here. Because of heat, that heat rises, it creates that chimney effect. The air goes up in the air, flows through the feet, and dries out your shoe overnight. So every day you have a dry pair of shoes to put on. So does it come with this attachment automatically? Yeah. Or right. you yeah. can have it, yeah. you can this, have it last? Yeah, that comes off sure. too. Um, but with boots, or if you have those long boots, you sure. know, some people right. have the boots that come up to your knees, then you want it long. But... If you really have a problem, I highly suggest to get the one with the forced air ventilators. They have not only a heat, but they have a fan in there which blows the air up. Because these work for me. They just heat? Yeah, they just, oh, there's just a heat, but there's no fan in there. I see. So you need more airflow to gotcha. dry it out. Um, because when I do this with my pair of boots and they've been wet, overnight they barely get Dry. Sure, it takes a long time. Yeah, really. and you want to have, uh, I saw, and you can look it up there, they saw a number of different kinds, and uh, the ones that have enough for four, you know, four posts, you can get four shoes, you know, two pairs, uh, four shoes, and they have a fan, and you can tell they're really doing the job. Well, we should have had one of these when my son was playing basketball. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. those shoes. Right. You could tell where they were in this, the house by. This is, I'm surprised you know, that you haven't, weren't aware of these. I've never heard. So, of if this. you haven't heard of these, there's probably a lot of people who right. haven't. Uh, they're not real expensive. The ones with the fans, the better ones are. You're getting around the $100 range. Oh, sure. But if they keep your feet dry and they change your life, like it did to the person I was talking to, sure. uh, he said it's just a no brainer once you realize it's like, why didn't I do this years we ago? Can put your socks on there, too. Oh, yeah, absolutely. That is the other thing. We're going to talk a little bit about socks. Uh, there's so many different kinds of socks. I would just recommend going online, and you can put in the 10 best socks to wear for uh, sweaty feet. Sweaty feet. Yeah, and you find the ones you want, and then buy them by the gross, you know, buy sure. 20, 30 of them or whatever. Gotcha. Uh, these happen to be, you can buy uh, socks. These are compressive garments. Say, yeah. yeah. They, they go up to the knee, and if you do get – if, say, you have swelling or you have diabetic right. or you have um, – I have this little bit, um, varicose, varicose veins. veins. Yeah. Then it's worth getting the tall socks that come up to here uh, that are compressive. Make sure you get the kind that – are compressive like a cone. In other words, they'll tell you how many millimeters of pressure they put on here. So it may be 20 here, 15 or 20 around the foot, and then as it goes up, it gets less. Less, right. Tighter here, less here, it's going to... Yeah, the opposite. You know, the fluid has to go out of your body. It gets processed up in, processed up in your abdomen. Right. So it's got to be pushed this yeah. way. If you're tighter here and looser here, it's going to push it down right. into the foot. The only thing about these, they're, they're quite a bit more expensive. And hard to put on. And they are harder to put on. So that's a kind of another video. The other thing is I think they're hotter, so you're going to sweat more. Well, that depends on what you get, too. Because I've, sure. I've had some people that have different types, different manufacturers, and they found significant difference. Again, sure. that's another video. I just wanted to bring up the sure. compression garment as part of foot care. Uh, so keep your feet dry, keep them clean, lots of sock changing, and keep your footwear dry. Uh, and the, uh, the best thing is, uh, you know, go out, obviously it's a seasonal thing, but go out with uh, sandals, sure. something that they can breathe in the air. Uh, and that, then you got to make sure you got good quality ones that right. you don't stumble your, you know, stumble and fall. But Bob, the next thing we want to talk about is our third category is the physical needs of your feet. We talked about a narrow toe box. Right. Don't get a narrow one. Make sure you have plenty of room. 
and foot callus. Now, this is something you you are. Uh, <laughs> this is Bob's baby. Slightly obsessed with it. <laughs> it's made a big difference in your ability to walk and run. Yes, correct? it does. Because I'll find every like a uh, couple of weeks, mm -hmm. I'll get to the point where I, I'm having pain in my foot, yeah. on the bottom of my foot, yeah. and I take the calluses down, and the pain goes away. I so you're getting calluses on the bottom of your feet right, for whatever right. reason. So this is the, uh, I'm going to read this off here. It's called the microplane foot file. And I, I had said, oh, I'm not supposed to say this. Right. I, a foot fetish. Ah, <laughs> yeah, that's well. not apparently anything to do with feet uh, as far as. Bob, just get yeah, on with okay. the program. So <laughs> what you're going to see, I don't know if you can get a close up on this. Yeah. Here. So, here. Well, well, oh, yeah. Here so I'm going to go ahead and you can actually. See the white stuff? Oh, can you? Is that filing off? Yeah. Why are you laughing, Tanner? This, this, Holy. this is awesome. This I should have brought my four inch grinder or the yeah. power wheel. This thing is the most beautiful thing. So you're saying, as a result of doing this, you're more comfortable running and walking? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I always get like on the outside of my foot, yep. I get a callus mm -hmm. there. I feel it right now, yep. actually. And um, it starts to hurt after a while. Well, I think an analogy is just think when you have a stone that got into right. your shoe and it's uncomfortable to walk. It's the same thing, but maybe not as pronounced. Now, my daughter, knowing this yes. about me, she did buy me this. Uh, it's called Own Harmony for Men. Zoom in on this. I thought this was the coolest thing. Well, it is, but it doesn't work as well as that. And it this, doesn't. And this thing really isn't that expensive. No, I think it's only like a ten or twelve like dollar item. Nothing. Whoa! But this is like a, this oh. is a little grinder. But the the tool time Tim and me says this <laughs> is cool. Yeah, but it's not that strong. Well, it's not even making any. No, filing. it isn't. That's what the problem was. Oh. Uh, and uh, well. my daughter goes, "Well, it's doing. You could do this for the course work and do right. the finish work with it that. Is. This one works to good around the toes. Yep. You know." But my daughter, she couldn't believe me. She said, no, this is better. And I go, no, it's not. I it's wonder not. how much it was. I don't know. Cause she, yeah, but anyways, you could probably do your toenails with that. Sure. But anyways, just another thing. So, you know, I think that's the mechanical or the things you can do with your feet. But we do have a bonus. And the, only, the reason this is a bonus, uh, it's very effective to massage your feet because you can massage your feet, which is good for circulation, feels good, but your hands get tired. Uh, and it always feels better if you can get somebody else to massage your feet. I don't know right. why, uh, but it, that's kind of hard to do. So there is a foot massager that we actually, we really like and we promote it because it works very well. Not only does it massage your feet, but it compresses it for swelling. And if it's you got have different modes and yeah. different. Um, it heats up too. And it heats up too. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. use this on a regular basis. I use this every night. Absolutely. This is my little treat. I, I, I sit down. And uh, I'll just have a drink of like soda or something. Sure. Like that. And I, I put right. it on and, <laughs> and I turn the TV on. I'll watch TV for an hour and I just put and my you like, massage right get on. Your, yep. Get yep. those feet massaged. Uh, so it makes your feet feel better. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. No, it is. It's a good it's a good unit. So that's below the video too if you're interested. But again, the first three are vital. You know, those things right. you really want to do on a regular basis. It's like brushing your teeth. You know, you can't go to bed without brushing your teeth. It's the same thing with your feet. By the way, the person who has that hydrosis. Or oh, yes. Hyper -hydrosis, yes, yes. She also uses the, oh, got she, her foot massage. Oh, really? And she has neuropathy. Mm -hmm. And I said, did it help your neuropathy? I right. said, I want to know. Yeah. Tell me. Yeah. And she said, yes, without Ooh. a doubt, it helped her neuropathy because it got her more blood flow right. to the feet which helps the nerves. That's, that is the thing with uh, neuropathy. You need, right. you need to get that fluid and that circulation that blood flow. as much as possible. Yep, so so. Uh, very good. Take it from her. All right, Bob. We probably, uh, everyone's pretty much tuned out by All now right. anyway. Be careful. This foot thing is really amazing. Yeah, be careful with those feet. 